You should tell us about your book. What's the title? So the book is called Highway to Your Happy Place, A Roadmap to Less Stress. And the idea of the book is that patients that would come to my office were really stressed out, but they didn't really know how to help themselves. Yeah. And what I've figured out over time was that the majority of the stresses that humans have are actually side effects to our skills. So that means if they have the skill of envisioning the future, the side effect is then they have to worry about it. So the cool thing about this idea then is that people worry about all these things that are happening outside of them, pandemics and this and that right. and politics. But really, it's a side effect of your skill. And so it really becomes, your, you get to change how you review these things. And that is where, how you can reduce your stress significantly. So that means you have all the tools you need to get this better. Yeah. And if anyone's watching right now, this book's for you. And whether you believe it or not, we all have stress. I have stress every day I wake up and I think about work or yes. life or what are you going to make for dinner? I mean, stress could be anywhere, right? That's correct. So in this book, what I talk about, I picked out six stresses that I think are the most common ones. Mm -hmm. So it talks about worry and it talks about guilt and regret. It talks about boredom. So one of my oh. friends who wrote the book said, read the book and it's like, wait, boredom? Like she hadn't really thought about it as stress. I was like, no, think about it. Like when we put somebody in jail, and they do bad in jail, what yeah. do we do? We put them in solitary confinement, which is wow. forced yeah, boredom. Yeah, boredom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. How many times do you, I remember I, in the book I write when I was like 16 year old riding around a parking lot in a mall somewhere hoping something would happen, right? Yeah. I mean, that's boredom and boredom is yeah. bad, right? So boredom and then low self-esteem mm -hmm. and then overwhelm. Because what I get to see a lot of patients that come to me and we, they've been identified as depressed. But when I talk to them, really what they are is overwhelmed. They just got too much stuff going on. Yeah. And when I say that to them, I go, you know what? I don't really think you're depressed. I think you're overwhelmed. They go, oh, ooh, that sounds way better, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, because that means I can do something about it. When you're depressed, you know, we're taught, oh, you're depressed, that means you're chemically imbalanced in your brain and yeah. you're gonna have to take your chemical for the rest of your right. life. No, what I say is you're overwhelmed. We can figure out how to get rid of some of the stuff. You'll be back to normal, right? And th let's talk about your work and how that affected your book, because you kind of have some techniques, right? That you, you've applied to stress, yes. you were telling me. Well, so so when you were talking about you being overwhelmed, yeah. here's one of the techniques that I give people. It's called the shoe box. And my friend gave this to me, right? Okay. So if you walked into a room and there was a hundred shoe boxes and the bottom was here and the top was here and the paper was over there and the left shoe was right, and there's a hundred of them around, you would be going, oh, right? right. But if you walked into that same room and you had the same amount of shoe boxes, but they're all put together and the papers in the left and right, and they're up on a shelf and there's a hundred of them, well, that's not overwhelming. I mean, that's a lot of boxes, but it's not overwhelming. So the idea of the book then is to think of your stresses as individual things, as opposed to letting them all lump together, yeah. which is what I see people do. They go, I say, what stresses do you have? Like, oh, my next door neighbor has cancer and my daughter is having yeah, they, a hard they, time. They have the story. whole list ready. And then they right. go, oh yeah, and I, I forgot I had a flat tire yesterday. And they just keep adding. Yeah. But when you put them all together, and you, this is what I call lumping. Yeah. When you lump it all together, you're like, oh, oh there's like, yeah, you have no idea how to, but if they're all separate, like no one of those things is, that is no, not one of those is overwhelming. It's only when you let them lump yeah, together. Yeah. So what I say to people, don't lump. When you hear yourself lumping, stop and think shoeboxes. Because what you do then is you take one shoebox down, you look at it, you pull it around, put it back up, take another one down. By keeping them separate, then you then you end up less overwhelmed. So how will we be able to get the book? So the book's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on Barnes & Noble. Anywhere where you can get a book, it's going to yeah. be there, right? right? So my goal is to get it in bookstores, and I want to get it in the library. We've already talked to the library about getting it in there, so it'll be there too. So because. The, my goal, like, I'm not doing this to become a rich and famous author. Like, as a doctor, I've always taken the tack that, hey, if I do a good job, that money will show up, mm -hmm. right? Because if I do a good job taking care of my patients, they'll refer me to their other patients and their families, right. and, blah, blah, blah. and I feel the same way about this book. I'm not doing this to make money. I'm doing this to help people. Mm -hmm. And I think if, if I help people and it works, that you know, money will show up, right? So it's that's money's not what's driving this deal. It's trying to help people have less stress, right? right. So highway to your happy place, uh, roadmap to less stress.